Okay, so today we're on page five, and we're going to talk about linear and angular speed or linear and angular velocity. So let's talk about what these look like, first of all. So sometimes things travel in circular paths. And so on this circle, I have a little dot. This little dot, when we talk about angular speed or velocity is how fast is this dot spinning around and around and around aka how fast is it how fast is it rotate rotating so if you ever have driven a car before one example of angular speed is rpms because this is the revolutions Per minute. It tells you how fast it's rotating. But now if we look at another dot, a yellow dot, on the same circle, linear speed is like if I took the circumference of the circle like this and I were to lay it out flat. And here's my little dot that was on that circumference. My linear speed is how fast do I move along this line? How long does it take me to cover this distance? So linear speed is like your miles per hour. So it's a distance over a time, whereas with angular speed, it's some kind of measure of an angle, revolutions, radians, um, degrees per a unit of time. So on page five, we're gonna talk about some formulas. So our First formula is linear speed, and our linear speed is some arc length over time. And remember, we use S to represent arc length. Our angular speed down here is a central angle over time, or the theta is the amount you spun. So let's look at a couple examples. So this first example says, let a second hand on a clock be 10.2 centimeters long. Find the linear speed of the tip of the second hand as it passes around the clock. Hint, draw a picture. So I'm going to um, cheat a little bit and I'm going to insert a clock, a circle. So there's my circle. And my clock has um, a second hand. Now the length of that second hand is 10.2 centimeters long. So we want to talk about the linear speed. So we're going to do V or linear speed is equal to S over T. And this S is my arc length. Or my time. So on a circle... This arc length, this thing I'm dotting out in yellow, is called something special. Anyone know what I'm, this thing is called? It's called the circumference. So I'm going to do my circumference over my time. The circumference of a circle is 2 pi r. So I'm going to do... 2 pi times my 10.2 centimeters over my time. Now your time can be, it doesn't, this problem doesn't say. I will tell you up front that on your tests and your quiz, we will tell you to do it in a certain measurement. So if we do, we could do per minute or per second. Let's do per minute first because the math's a little bit easier. I'm going to do one minute. So for this, we're going to do 2 times our 10.2, which is going to get us 20.4 pi. And, the label, and then when you divide by 1, it's still 20.4 pi. And the label on this, the top thing, this 10.2 was in centimeters. So this would have been, I'd travel this many centimeters per minute. Now if you decided to do it in maybe per second, you would have had... 
the 2 pi times the 10.2 over 60. And your answer here would have been in centimeters per second. They're the same thing because we just have different labels on them. So when we convert back and forth from the minutes to the seconds, you get the same mathematical answer. Okay, let's try the next one. So the next one says that I have a Ferris wheel with a 50-foot radius that makes 1.5 revolutions per minute. The first thing I want to do is find the angular speed. So again, omega, this funny Greek letter, it looks like a W, it's called omega, is going to equal theta, my angle that I make, over time. So the theta that I make, let's think for a second, I'm on a Ferris wheel, Ferris wheel is a circle, one circle when you go around it is, I'm going to use radians, is 2 pi radians. But I don't just make one circle. Right here it says I went 1.5 revolutions. So I went one whole circle to one revolution and then half more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my 1.5 revolutions times what one circle was worth and one circle was worth my 2 pi for the 1 circle, and it says it does the 1.5 resolutions per minute, so on the bottom I'm going to do 1 minute. So 1.5 times 2 is 3 pi, and my label on this one is going to be radians, R-E-D, rad, per minute. Now let's try to find the linear speed. So the linear speed, let's see, linear speed again is my arc length. So I'm going to do V equals S over T. Arc length of a circle is a fancy way of saying my circumference. So 2 pi R over T. But remember, I didn't make one circle in this problem. I made a circle and a half. So instead of just doing one circumference, I have to do one and a half circles times my 2 pi. And my radius is 50 all over my time, which is one minute. So, we can multiply this all together. So, I have 1.5 times 2, which is 3. 3 times 50 is 150. So, I have 150 pi. This is going to be, because this was in feet. My label here is going to be feet per minute. So hopefully it makes a little bit more sense. You can go check out the other video that's posted. It is some practice problems on page six. If I were you, I'd recommend that you try them and then use the video posted to help you figure out where you're stuck.